Yes, welcome again to another Physics Live again. It's Wednesday afternoon, 4.30. I hope you're going to join us along and do some experiments with me. My name's Ben, and this time we are doing experiments around, well, basically light itself. And there's something that you can easily do with materials. So we're going to do a bit of a roll call of materials uh, that you should have on, on hand. If you haven't got them, no worries. Just run off to the cupboard. Go get them if you need them. Uh, or if you're checking this uh, video out later, you can certainly do it. Now, um, what we're going to do is a simple experiment around, well, light and sunsets. Why are they red and that sort of thing? So if you look over this way, you're going to need some form of water. You are going to need a little bit of milk. And you're going to need some sort of light nearby. I've got a fluorescent lamp nearby. And that's all we actually need at this point. Now, by the way, before we get going, I actually want to get you, so that's a bit ahead around about how this actually works. So the way we see light, right now, I bet you wherever you are, you've got light on you. And there's all types of different light. In fact, if I get this one here, our Newton color wheel, good old Isaac Newton looked at light a long time ago. There are a number of colors that we're used to. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. They're all there. Now it turns out they've all got different amounts of energy and they've all got different wavelengths. You see light travels as a wave. And as we go from ooh, red, across to violet, that light wave squishes on up. The frequencies change and the energies change. We actually get more energy as we get towards violet and less energy as we go towards red. Why does this matter? A whole bunch for this experiment. You see, when you see colors, you're actually seeing light being bounced off an object. You see, if I grab these two things, two pens, I've got white light hitting our pen here and the only light that's bouncing off it is blue, so we see it as blue. If I get this guy, this yellow pen, white light's hitting it. It's got all the different colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. They're all there, but the only color that's bouncing off is yellow. Now, when we're dealing with sunsets, you've got light traveling through our atmosphere. It's got nitrogen, it's got oxygen, and they tend to really scatter violet and blue light incredibly well. Now, if we go down over here to our experiment, we're gonna try and scatter a bucket load of white light. Now first I'm just gonna turn our light on. Light goes on. And light seems to be able to go through transparent water fairly well, so it does not scattering it too well. If I go over here, we can see a whole bunch of light can get right through that clear water. So we see that light is basically white. Of course all the colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, are coming through the water and you get to see it as white as it goes out the other side. Now, what I'd like you to do is get your milk. And add a dash, add a dash of milk. There's my dash, quite a dash, looks like a bit of a cloud. <laughs> Actually look at that, out it goes. Now look at what's sort of happening. Already we're kind of getting a bit of a change in the colors themselves. I'm gonna give it a tiny little bit of a stir, so uh, why not just grab a pencil, <laughs> give this a bit of a stir. And we start seeing a change in the color of our milk. I mean, we know milk is white. You know, it tends to reflect most light and you see it as white. However, now looking at this, it's a little different. I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my lights off. So it's going to go a bit dark. You could actually mess with our cameras a little bit, but we'll find out soon enough. There you go, lights off. Now, as I move my light around, we'll start to see a bit of a difference. And if you're doing it, by the way, if you're doing this experiment, let us know how you're going. Tag a friend who should be playing with you, doing these sorts of experiments. Now, I've got to get this just about right for our light. There we go. Now it's just gone like a pinkish hue sort of a color. And if I go back around over this way, it goes back to being white. So what's going on? Remember I mentioned before that blue and violet light tends to be easily scattered. Well, it turns out that's exactly what's happening here. The pinkish sort of color you're getting, this pinkish orangey sort of a glow that you're getting is because as I put the light just slightly behind our milky water, the pinkish light, the oranges and the reds are getting through the milk and the blue and the violets and greens and things are being scattered away and not reaching the camera so you don't get to see what we're actually seeing with the colors. But if I turn my lights back on again, the effect's not as apparent because the light in the room's now bouncing off this so you don't see it as well. And if I turn this off, 
Now light's completely just bouncing off the front of this and now you're seeing everything. <laughs> so this is works with the idea of scattering light. And thing is, this has been done a long time ago. Lord Rayleigh from England, you know, over a century.